guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new today's video is so exciting for me because i have been waiting to try this product for so long ever since gizu announced that they're coming out with a curling iron or curling wand i knew i have to try it because i love so many of their hair products their oil their perfume i swear by them and I figured it's gonna be really good. I'll finally have something that makes my hair stay curly. So for those of you that don't know, if you, I don't think I've, I haven't really done too many hair videos, but my hair is pin straight. It never stays curly. When I go to the salon for them to curl my hair, by the time they finish curling one side, the other already falls down. Like it's impossible for curls to stay on me. And so I have tried so many different products. I've tried um, like different stylers and leave-ins products and like hairsprays and different tools to make my hair stay curly and to get like those big Victoria's Secret beautiful hair and like nothing ever worked. So when Gizu announced their product coming out, I was like, I have to try it maybe it'll work and so i ordered it like the minute they released it it came within i think five days or so i live in new jersey i believe they shipped out of new york and i want to talk to you about how it looks some pros some cons because i did have an issue with it when it came in that i had to contact the company about and also i have tried it on yesterday so i filmed me curling my hair and then updates throughout the day to show you how long the curls last now keep in mind it's probably not going to be exactly the same for you as it is for me if your hair is easier to style it probably the curls will probably last much longer and it'll, it might be a totally different experience but i wanted to just share my first impressions and like what i think and all of that so it comes in the best case ever this is the case that it comes in it looks literally like a weapon like a like you're holding i don't want to say the word the g word because then my video is going to get demonetized but it looks like that kind of a case when i came in my husband was like what the hell did you order it's all paper all cardboard it comes then in another cardboard box that that says gives you on it and then that box is in a bigger box um that i believe has some um stuffing in there so it is very protected but it does come in all paper which i like I have contacted the company a long time ago when I first got their um, their hair perfume that came in an acrylic box and I emailed them and I was like, I'm, I'm sorry to say this, I love the perfume, but why would you sell it in an acrylic box? It's such a waste of plastic. I know I'm going to reorder it because I love it. I don't want to have to go through so much plastic. It's stupid. And then like a few months later, I guess I, I feel like they got a lot of feedback maybe regarding it because then they announced that starting 2020, they're going to be um, like repackaging their products and not use plastic and or at least not as much plastic. So it came in this when you open it and I took out the curler so I have it here it comes with a booklet that has all different languages and then it looks like this so it literally looks like like a weapon case <laughs> and then the curling wand comes with a um like a what is it called like a rubber mat uh for you to lay it on when it's hot and that way you don't have to just put it on your counter or like it's not gonna slip off it really grips it i used it and i loved it so much that it has it because in the past i would just put them on my counter and they would slide into the sink sometimes which is really dangerous and then the actual wand looks like this And then it has a really long cord and then depending where you live you can either get um the outlet that matches our outlets here in america or you can get one that is for europe which is um they're like round and i think there's three of them maybe um so you can get it depending like where you live and it's gonna work for you basically so this it has an on and off button here on the side you like slide it and then it has 10 different heat settings. And so it goes from, I forget where it goes from. Let me see here. 320 to I think 4, 420, I guess. Um, and then it says here, it has the hair type and temperature setting suggestion. It says for fine hair, use 320 and below. 
whoopsie i used the 390 yesterday and then for thin 320 to 340 and for thick 340 and above um and you can change the setting so when you turn it on you use the plus or minus button to change the heat and then once you stop pressing it for three seconds it locks it in that position and so then when you use your curler and you accidentally click them nothing's going to change because the heat setting is locked in so if you do want to change it up make sure to do it quickly because once it locks you have to then turn it off and then back on if you want to change it to a different number so that was the only thing that kind of threw me off like i thought it broke because i wanted to go up and i couldn't and then i read the booklet and it just says that it locks um it also has an automatic shut off if you forget to turn it off i don't know how long i believe it's an hour or so where it shuts off on its own and so if you do forget it and you are somewhere where you can't turn back and go home it's gonna shut off on its own it says gizu on here and then when you turn it on it's a display screen and it says gives you on the top and then the temperature that it's set on it heats up really quickly like every i think two seconds it goes up to the next level of temperature and then once it gets to what you set it to it'll beep twice and you know it's ready and it gets super super hot you definitely need this thing my first impression wasn't the best and the reason for it is a there is a big dent here. You can't see it, but it's like um, dented in and wrinkled, like the paper is wrinkled. So if I wanted to use this as a gift for someone, it would just look a little damaged and that was a turn off. <laughs> I didn't like that, obviously, um, but it's not the biggest of a deal. Like it's just the packaging. I'm going to throw it out. I just wanted to keep it for the video. But then another thing that I noticed is that this part here wasn't popped into place it was like sticking out and I had to twist it really hard to pop it into place. Once I did, you can't get it out. Like it's stuck in there. It's good, but it wasn't, it wasn't assembled correctly. I feel like maybe they didn't check it before they shipped it. And it kind of scared me because if I hadn't noticed, or if I thought that's the way it's supposed to be, and I plugged it in, I think it might have been some sort of a, an issue with the electricity since this wasn't secured in place so this was kind of like there was maybe like half an inch of space between the pink part and this black part here and also the last thing that i didn't like was that this part of the barrel the one that looks like honey it was covered in what looked like ink marks to me i'll insert a picture if i still have it on my phone basically it just looked like it was either used or it got rubbed on something that stained it and I didn't think it would come off, to be honest. And I reached out to Gizu. I told them about it. I sent them a picture. And they said that it's just from the inside of the cardboard because it's black. Um, it rubs off. Even though it looks like ink, it's going to come off. So I used the wet wipe and it did come off. So I didn't really need to reach out to them. I just was sure that it's not going to come off. Like I didn't think a wet wipe would get rid of it. I contacted them, but really I should have just probably tried to remove it on my own beforehand. And it did come off. So it was fine. It's clean now. It's pink. It doesn't have any black on it, but, but it was very stained like all over the entire thing. This was also stained as well. And I was also able to wipe it with a wet cloth. And, um, and lastly, so the weight of this is very very light i thought it would be more heavy it doesn't necessarily mean that it's made cheap or anything like that i just sometimes tend to think that if something is more heavy duty then it's just a little bit better and made with better materials and this is super light but on the other hand it's kind of nice because when you curl your hair and you have to keep holding it up in different directions, it's easy to do and your hand, your arm doesn't hurt. And so if there is a plus to it for sure, it's just, um, it's just very lightweight. Like I almost thought it almost feels like a toy. Like it doesn't feel like an actual hair tool because it's literally like feather light. This is plastic on the top. It's all basically, it's very plasticky. So if I saw it in a store, I wouldn't think it's a high-end brand. I do have some T3 products and they're a lot heavier. And so this just felt 
cheaper to me maybe they just meant to make it so late because then it's easier to use so that's the only thing the cord is really really long so you don't have to have an outlet like right by your mirror it's gonna reach wherever you are and um and yeah so i'll insert a picture of me trying it on and then after i have a couple of updates throughout the day to tell you how long the curls lasted this is second day so as you can see it does not last into the next day at least on my hair there is some waves to it but not much uh, but yeah i'll insert a clip right now and i'll see you after hey guys so i started filming on my camera and then i realized that the battery is dying so i switched over to the phone um i'm probably not going to include the first few clips um so i just did the bottom and basically it's it took some trial and error for sure so i didn't know how to hold the barrel first i like i'm used to the ones with the clip and so this type of barrels it's just like awkward for me to hold and so i ended up going back and watching um Nagin's video on her YouTube channel on how she curls her hair and I realized that she always holds it like down Where I was trying to hold it up and so if you hold it down It just makes it a lot easier to then um, what she said. I'll show you like kind of what I did so what she said is when you curl it I hold it for about maybe like five or so seconds so um, when you hold it down it's easier to then catch it into your hands. And if you hold it in your hands for a few minutes or not a few minutes, like a few seconds, maybe five, 10 seconds, it cools down a little bit. And that way it doesn't fall flat as quickly because it cools down before you let it go. And so that's what I've been doing. See, it's like a little uh, spiral. So now I'm going to do the top of my hair. I kind of just clipped it up, did the bottom, then I'm going to release like a few sections at a time and then do the top. So I'm probably going to fast forward through this. I washed my hair last night. I let it um, dry overnight and so it's completely dry. I did use, um, which you didn't see because it wasn't recording, I did use the Gizu primer. Sorry the video so bad, I'm recording on my phone, there's like no light behind me. And I also use the Gizu um, protecting, heat protecting spray, which um, she used in her video as well, because I wanted to mimic it as much as I can, just to see if it kind of comes out the same. So, let's see. This My phone is like in between, <laughs> in between like a cup and a body butter. Hopefully it's not going to fall down, so... The way she did it was that she held it down, like downwards. This one is trying to get in here. I'm so not graceful with this. So she held it down. And some of these parts I'm kind of redoing because I did, I tried it out um, with my other camera and it just like wasn't happening so that's when I rewatched uh, her clip and started to like do it the correct way that she did it um, so that's why you can see like a little waves in my hair it's because I already tried it and it like wasn't working for me it's awkward to hold uh, the barrel the first time around like I think now I get the hang of it after doing it for about maybe like five ten minutes uh, but the first few times I was just completely lost Ow, burns I have it set to 390, I probably should do less. I'll update you throughout the day, like how it's looking, if it's lasting and all of that. So we'll see if it's worth it. I'm kind of grabbing large sections because I just don't have the patience to do little sections, but it probably would work better if I did less hair. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so I'm going to finish my hair so I can use the mirror it's a little less awkward and then I'll get back to you and show you what it looks like at the end <laughs> okay so this is what it looks like when I finish curling so now what I'm going to do is exactly what she did in her video which is to use the oil um, just to give it some shine and some moisture because it is drying to your hair to use um, hot tools so I always do like two of the uh, dropper fools usually in the palms of my hands then I'm going to just kind of rub it into the hair a little bit 
I like how it looks because I know when it falls down it's going to look really good so I don't mind that they're tiny like spirally curls because that's going to fall down don't get scared like don't think that's gonna stay like that because it won't um, and then you just kind of separate it with your fingers sorry there's like bathrobes behind me so you just kind of divide it with your fingers obviously I do not have the expertise that uh, Nagin has so Obviously, it's not going to look as good. I'm just kind of trying to do my thing and figure it out on my own. So what I'm going to do too is use just a little bit of the Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast because that's supposed to give you volume on your roots. And I didn't. Uh, normally, I dry my hair with a round brush with like the, the Conair hair dryer that has a brush attached to it. And that way it kind of lifts it at the roots uh, but i didn't do it last night i just washed it i went to bed so i do need some volume so i'm gonna try this i'll get back to you in a little bit and show you what it's looking like bye okay so don't mind the light and the mess that i am it's been about an hour and a half or so and the curls are still there um they have fallen down so it's definitely less but they're still there, which is surprising, to be honest. Usually, normally, I feel like, I don't know, do they even last an hour ever? I don't think they do, so I think maybe it lasts a little longer than it usually would, um, but I'll check in with you again at the end of the day. So this is an hour and a half in, and now it's just kind of waves. Like, it's not really even curls anymore, um, but I like this look as long as it stays this way. I don't mind. I'm just worried It's gonna just continue kind of falling down. So we'll see. Okay, so it's the end of the day now I've had them for about nine hours. I just brushed them out and now it's kind of like waves um, Almost like old-school waves, but yeah, the curls are pretty much gone. It's just waves curls never last on me so I kind of imagined this would happen i didn't think that would last all day i did have hopes but i didn't really think it would um happen so yeah so this is about eight hours in again my hair never holds curls so it's probably not going to be the same way with you but that's just how it looks on me at the end of the day okay so as you could see um, it did take me a few tries to get the hang of how to curl it. I'm used to the ones with the clip. Um, so basically, I watched Nagin's video when she was holding it down. So I kind of got a hang of it then. You have to hold it down so that this part is facing downwards. And then that way, when you curl it, you can just kind of slide the hair off of it and catch it in your hand. Hold it for a few seconds so that they cool down. And that way, the curls will last longer. I did use their heat protectant spray and their primer just like she did in her video. Oh, I forgot to mention the price. So this retails for $129, which I feel like is more high-end for sure. I know there's a lot of curling ones on Amazon, on like at Walmart for like $30 that work really well too. So this is more higher end. I purchased it because I thought that it would just make my curls last longer. And honestly, I think they did last a little bit longer. I don't think that they lasted a whole lot longer, but they definitely lasted a little longer than they normally would. Um, when I get blowouts at the salon, they usually are gone by the time I like walk back to my car. And with this, they stayed wavy until nighttime. So for about like 10 hours or so, they stayed wavy. And like throughout the day, just kept, they kept kind of falling down more and then it went from curls to waves, but then that kind of lasted throughout the entire day. So my hair had some texture to, to it the entire day. It never fell completely flat and straight. So that was definitely a plus. Uh, I'm sure that their primer and their heat protectant spray helped as well. So my honest opinion is that I'm not mad that I got it. I'm happy I got to try it. I'm definitely going to keep using it. I keep like holding it the whole time. It looks so weird. I have to put it away. I'm going to keep using it. I like it. I really, really love this thing. I think it just makes the world of difference for me. And I mean, this isn't like exclusive to this brand. You can get the same kind of thing on Amazon, I'm sure, for a few dollars. But I definitely like the pad, uh, the heat. What is this? What is this even called? I don't even know what this is called. Heat mat. It's a heat mat. Um, so I definitely love that. Um, it is really cute. It's baby pink. It kind of has like those honey, that honey detail. 
and um and yeah so i would say if you want to try it out it's not a bad product at all i don't think it's life-changing but i don't think it's bad so it's kind of just up to you if you have something like this this is one inch which i also forgot to tell you it's one inch which i used to think that in order to get like those big victoria's secret curls i need like an inch and a half size barrel and it turns out you need a smaller one so that when they curl and they fall out it then creates the big curls um this is a one inch which i needed anyway my hair just doesn't do good with like one and a quarter or one and a half so i was going to buy a one inch barrel regardless and i just got this but um but yeah i say a few it's not to me i don't think it's life-changing i don't think that you need it needed but i do like it however their hair oil you do need it so i'll link it below so yeah that is my review I feel like it was a little messy i don't know tell me if you've tried it tell me what you think i've tried watching a few tutorials on youtube and it just kind of seems like most of the uh the women just had really easily curled hair mine like almost never curls so that's why i was curious to try it for myself and really just give you a review on that in case your hair is anything like mine so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye